Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I have a super quick Lightroom tip for you. So I have a set of images that I want to upload to the web and what I want to do is just to check to make sure that they are going to look okay when I upload them. So one of the problems that I find sometimes is that when you upload your images to the web, they can suddenly look darker or sometimes brighter uh, when you see them against a white background. So this is basically down to human perception. And what you will find is that when you look at images on a darker background, um, it makes them look brighter than they might actually be. So then when you see them on a white background, they will actually look darker. So I, this kind of varies a lot from image to image, but it's one of the things that if you have certain types of photos, uh, it can be particularly an issue with. So in this example, I shot a lot of stuff at sunset. So the images are quite dark anyway. Um, but this leads to it's kind of a fine line then between what is too dark and what is uh, underexposed. So in this case, what I want to do is to check um, the images of the shoot before I upload them um, so that they will look okay. There's a very simple little thing you can do is if you click on this background here, uh, right click on it, you can change the background color. So what I'm going to do is set this to white. Okay, and then I am going to zoom out a bit just so I have a good big border around your image. Um, and this way I can now judge what's going to look like against the white background and straight away this actually looks a little darker than I would like so I'm just going to adjust it slightly and, and let me just pick a different image so I'm just going to scroll around and pick one and um, this actually looks fine I don't need to adjust this maybe a little bit brighter okay and then let's just pick another image so this looks a little flat to me um, and a little dark so I'm going to brighten it up a bit so just another quick tip um, while I'm here. Um, one of the things you can do is, uh, if you have an image of low contrast or something like this, is you can use the white slider, um, almost like a volume control. So when you drag the whites, what it actually does is stretch the whole histogram, if you were, um, rather than using the exposure, which works almost like a, um, exposure kind of is a combination of brightness and controlling the overall level. So it's kind of weighted, whereas when you're dragging the whites, uh, what it does is it basically stretches your whole brightness levels um, evenly. So that's just a quick extra tip there. Okay, so let me just pick one or two more images here. Okay, and again, this actually looks okay, but I can brighten it a little bit. And again, I'm using the white levels here just to stretch it out. Now, it should be noted too that I'm doing this specifically for uploading to the web, and I know it's going to be going on a website that has a white background. Um, ideally, you kind of, you should the general best practice is to use a medium gray uh, or a neutral gray background because um, that will give you the best uh, overall impression of what your brightness levels will actually be. A neutral gray background shouldn't affect your perception of the image but the problem with that is if you're still uploading to a white background um, that will still affect it so you want to just make sure it's going to look okay. So in the case of these images I am specifically editing them for upload to a white background. Um, and this may seem like a lot of work, but it can actually make quite a big difference. So anyway, that is it really. So here's just one more image. And just another thing too, is I'm, all, I'm also paying uh, attention to the histogram. Um, and another thing is I'm actually editing the image with the histogram as well. So if you didn't know this already, you can adjust your values in Lightroom by uh, adjusting the histogram. So again, I'm just tweaking the white levels here to bring everything up. Um, and again, I'm being careful not to go too far as well, so because I don't want to flatten the images too much or to over brighten them because they are actually supposed to be dark. So that's kind of what I'm going for. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And just quickly before I go, I will show you the other methods that you can do to get a white background, and that is to use the proofing view. So you can go into the view menu, soft proofing, and show proof, and that will give you a proof of your image against the white background. And we'll also use color sync on a Mac. Um, and whatever the PC equivalent is uh, to give you a kind of an accurate preview of what it's going to look like um, based on the profiles that you have set. If you use light depth mode on this too, you will also get a full white background. And then you can adjust it here as well, as you can in the normal view. So let me just turn this back off. And again, we can just set this to white here as well. One thing to note is if you're just, if you have changed the background in normal editing mode and you do light depth mode, um, it doesn't give you a white view. So. 
that's just one other thing to notice. Okay, I hope you have found this video useful. If you do, please like, share and subscribe. And if you're subscribed to the channel, don't forget to click the little bell icon because that will notify you when I have new videos out. Um, if you like this content and you want to support this channel, um, then check out my Patreon page. Link will be in the description below where you can get behind the scenes access and various other things. Um, it helps support this channel and my blog. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll see you in the next video. And thanks again for watching.